to... But even in Tri-State, like how many like, oh, good Shulk plays are there? What is it? Oh, Echo, is that one from Echo Sean, yeah. who changed his tag to Ranger. Other than that, I don't think there is Not another. a whole lot. Yeah, yeah so this is going to be two. a big matchup check for, uh, for Vivi going into this. The biggest challenge is like, okay, how can I call out, you know, Shulk jumps? How can I edge guard Shulk? How do I avoid his win condition, which is like, haha, don't get hit off stage or don't so get hit by big, smash outs. So the big thing with Shulk is like he only throws, he doesn't have multi-hit aerials. So if you're good at parrying um, aerials, then you should be just fine overall. Yeah. But if, if you're not, then Shulk gets really intimidating really fast. But already Vivi off with a really bold start here, already putting on 67%. And just keeping him away consistently, getting a couple of floaters in, and look at how much space that covers. Neutral got up, roll everything except timing mix ups. Wow. Everything. Hope, kaboom. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Solo is just in no position to really do anything about it, right? Because he's like, okay, I gotta come back onto the stage. I don't really have much mix left here. And uh, now Vivi's got a pretty good lead for himself. Yeah, and that was an ill advised aerial just landing on top of him. Oh, Busu, he's got... Yeah, not going to die from here. Already putting on so much damage. Now Solo is really hunting for this kill. Uh, VD playing a whole bunch out of shield. Uh, but now we're starting to see those adaptations to go through some grabs. Uh, Solo, it's, you know, if he gets, you know, a uh, smash shot again, and that's going to be like an upfield, a backfield kill, I yeah. believe. Yeah, and the big thing with um, Hero, they do have mana. So every time VV does go for one of those spells, it does cause something. But if VV managed to get hit like the normal hits, yep. it's able to regain MP. Now, how do you actually get off the ledge here? And just, you know what, just jumps and uh, is able to swing. VV really has to respect this. Goes for the buff so, in the middle of yeah. the in so front of the space. kind of wilding right now. A little bit, huh? Uh, I'm just going to put it out there. Okay, Bear gonna take it right there. Hmm. I feel like almost all of Solo's approach options are just being consistently stuffed out. All of his jumps, like these jabs at Midway are so good too. Not the highest reaching move, but uh, active enough. Okay, Bear. That's called the God Killer, you know that? In Xenoblade? I did not know that. I played maybe. Yeah, I just, I just made that up. <laughs> well, it sounded dope, right? It sounded like something <laughs> from sounded uh, really... Xenoblade. Yeah, like. That's too dope of a name for Xenoblade. <laughs> Actually, that's the God Slayer you're talking about. That's the God Slayer. Oh. Now, <laughs> if you just <laughs> go like all of these spells out, Solo is really not respecting like any of these menu pulls yeah. at all, right? He's seeing it up, and he's not really like reading it, and he's just kind of getting into a lot of stuff at yeah. this point. So, fun fact, guys. Um, I did dry Soul Arts here. He's incapable of reading at this current moment in time. It's not able to do it. Yeah, you got the sauce on, on the car right here. Yeah. And wow, that back hill is going to be able to connect. Solo ended up dropping a shield thinking that he was going to be safe and then was just locked into uh, picking an art. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 I want to see that one again. Well, okay, one, one, more, one more time, one more time. Ooh, one more time. What did, what did Solo even like press back to get like, hit by that? He just nared. No, nothing. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just, I feel like you can also react to that. You have like at least a you second. You could just go into shield. Pretty yeah. sure. He didn't really press anything. He could have just air dodged and he would have been fine too. Uh, it sucks you in. So like, if you still do it, you can air dodge and it'll come back up. If your air dodge is not good enough. That's true. Yeah, it depends on like on how fast of a follow yeah. you are and if you can get out of there in time. Now we're gonna be opting to go for the battlefield. Uh, I don't know. I feel like yeah. this is a stage that like Vivi will still be kind of chill on. But now when you suck at platforms, this is the biggest challenge. How do you actually consistently land? You know what? I guess aggressively sometimes. Just gonna be catching solo jumping. Yeah. All right. F throw. A smash? Oh, there. A man. really good reaction. Off of a single goal, too. Already able to shrink out a couple of hits and have him on the other side of the stage. Now it's smash out on deck as well. He's looking for that kill. Yeah, and before against LRA start, Soul Arts did catch them with an up air. Oh my god, that lasted so long. But yeah, it was able to catch up airs, and VV definitely looked like they watched it. Now being catched by this up air. Okay, just going to be taking a second to be able to slow things down. Once again, Vivi just more than content just to play on the corner. He has been consistently getting off, and Solos has not found any of these big, you know, smash out floaters at the ledge, which is so important and vital to Shulk. Going to be setting up another juggle, maybe anticipating a landing on the top platform. Not going to be able to get it, and Solos gets the hit for it. 
Yeah. Oh, it's still unexpected. Oral read. And Vivi loves to run up, um, just jab onto shield. It's a call out. It's like saying, hey, hey, I feel like you're going to jump to. I think you're going to spot dodge you. You think you're going to sit in shield. Jab too. It is surprisingly safe on shield when you take into account uh, human reactability. Yeah. And that's why I'm not human. <laughs> oh, he lived? At 141. It cheated death. I don't even know what the percent was for you, but the, it's it was 100, 100, it starts being at like 90. Jesus. Like a 90% kill. And he got lucky, but the question is not, you know, for how long can he be lucky? The answer is not long enough. But just going to be jumping right into that up smash. That was a call out and a half uh, from, uh, from Solo. Yeah. The other half was like, yo, I'm taking this talk with it. <laughs> All right. Bounce? Not that helpful in this matchup, but does remove something from the menu. Yep. So I do see, like, the reasons why they do it. Yeah, just get something off the menu so you can pull everything else a little bit faster. But I'm just going to be keeping Solo stuck in a corner. He has the great idea, but then overshoots a little bit. Maybe not fully comfortable with the accelerator spacing. All right, just swing that ledge. Facing the wrong directions to connect that up tilt. Solo definitely would have been able to do it had, uh, you know, he not accidentally faced backwards. Yeah. But now, Smash Hurts on deck, not going to be able to guess correctly as to where Vivi will descend. Ooh. All right, up here, out of shield. No jump. That's it. Wow. Yeah, not a whole lot you can do in that position. Yeah. All right, down tilt? Okay, we didn't manage to get the connecting up tilt right there. Dashing and shielding, just waiting for, uh, for him to press something. And now all of a sudden, Solo has a stage control. He has a stock lead. He is chilling. He's chilling like a villain, man. <laughs> and he's a villain right now. To the city people, at least. I don't think that's true canonically, actually, but... I, I just, you're, I'm you're actually right. here. I'm, so, I'm so sorry about yeah, that. Sh yeah, Shulk's the hero. That was, that my was like the dweebiest thing I've ever done like, in my life. Like, canonically, Shulk is the hero. You're right. Like, you know, I played a, I played a bit of Xenoblade. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the villain I, is. I don't, but I don't know anything about Xenoblade. Shulk's, I think, I think Shulk's it's on the cover. Because, yeah. Shulk's on the cover. He's, I, he's, I put two and two together. Yeah, oh, tries to go for a bit of a cheeky tomahawk there. Vivi just going to quickly smack him for it. Going to be getting F tilt uh, and gets the kill for it as well. Up throw. Yeah. Huh. It, it did set up for a good tech chase, or like a decent tech chase there. I don't know why he would choose to do that over down throw, because maybe he just wanted some time to be able to go and pull his menu out. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Just going to be forced to use his up either, not maybe wanting to risk uh, going through zoom at all. Yeah. Oh, there. He's rolling in a lot. I don't think the jump post was fully intentional. Maybe oh. he wants to do shield out. Oh! Oh, my goodness. That could have gone south so quickly. Oh! And that's it. What? What? Even so loud. Yo. Oh, his reaction was so good. Oh, I want to see that again. That was so funny. Oh. What? What happened? He zoomed in. Wait, I want to I see this again. Hold on. Hot police, well, I, wanna, I, I, I just want to see this whiff. Like, he ducked underneath. Yeah, he just ducked underneath him. That's so funny. Three, Got outplayed. He was, right. he was, he was, he looked so sad there for a sec, but yeah. Oh, man. All right, so going into game number three here, we're going to be sticking with Battlefield this time around. Uh, I got to say, Vivi's spacing is a little bit more on point than Solar's. Yeah, and he you is, would imagine, like, Solar's with the biggest sword could have, like, more room to work with, but... It just seems to be getting counter hit. Oh, those those like jab ones and jab twos are definitely throwing solo to get them completely off. I, I, just Vivi's positioning overall this game has been a lot more solid because he's able to get close enough to the point that, hey, now I'm close to you. The fact that you have a big loose hoodie doesn't really matter. And now I have fast two buttons. So definitely like I feel like more than anything, abusing his jab, abusing his grab uh, at those really close distances. Well uh, solo, it's not able to get as much started. Yeah, no, definitely not. Okay. Vivi knows his distances. He is comfortable sitting there and waiting for Solo to continue pressing in his face. Yeah, but it was good of Source to just back off there. 
and just waiting for, like, going in and out of DB's burst range to, like, bait out those options. So the Thwack, like, not even be close to him. And Solar's now playing a bit more patient, but you still see Solar's yep. jumping up in there. So with that Accelerado just able to be scooped under. Oh, now they're whiffing a whole bunch. Solar just sat there, waited, and was like, hey. Just press a back kill in my face. Was able to find a down tilt off of it. But now VD is the one in control of the stage. Those are those jab two mix-ups. Like, even though he didn't gas glide the second time around, I mean, yeah, you just have ample time to be able to get out of it. Let's see. Up throw? Oh, up smash. Or up tilt, not going to take it right there. Up oh, throw. good. Wait oh. for the spot dodge. Really good stuff from DV. Has him off stage. Shield Light's going to be coming in a little bit clutch. We saw Lights. Does not find the flame slash to flame. Yeah. That's they're not going to be able to kill quite yet. And I like the idea to go for Guppy, though. Uh, just maybe let go of it a little bit too soon. Maybe could have just waited yeah. longer uh, to go for it. I thought Solarts was going to immediate up here, but a little delay saved Solarts' life. And mm -hmm. they're both holding on to these stocks. 169 and 123. Oh. Well, not enough MP. Yeah. So I don't think VV anticipated that he was, uh, you know, not going to be able to snap onto ledge there. He sent it a little bit too quickly. Had he just do action like out, she would have been fine. 90% from that up tilt, man. <laughs> and Buster. He just needs anything right now, but Solo is just keeping him out, keeping him off stage, just making it as difficult as possible for him to play the game. Yeah, no. Looks ridiculous. I like the patience. Solar is doing like short hops to wow. like bait out options right now. And this is Death Priest If he gets a smash out, up, that's literally going to be it at this point. And Cell's taking out 191. He's not taking like a single hit this stock besides that get up attack from ledge. Wow. Yeah, no, it's not looking good. He's now not oh. able to connect any of these buttons. Solo is spacing himself so well, so safely. A beat? Oh, just falling out. Oh, I have okay. never seen a Shulk live this long. I have. It's called Shilder. <laughs> and he's still like constantly jumping in and around VV. Finally, up tilt is going to be able to do it. VV now with a, quite a bit of a deficit, but we've seen him make. That's all right. Captain Planet's better out. Comebacks. Captain Planet's out. Look at him shine. No. He's he's got the whole rainbow behind him right now. VV is just oh that was such a good spot dodge, but then still not having enough time to be able to get his up tilt out. Had he been facing the other way, the uh, initial hitbox of it would have been able to connect, but the back hit of it of course comes out yeah. later as the swing takes time to swing behind him. Okay, we see the first counter and it doesn't work. Oh Shulk, just Shulk things. I'm glad. Can't have working counters in this game. They're just going to be taking a bit of, bit of time at the ledge, though. And that yeah, is a vibe check. I believe you can He's just dead. jump in between those hits. Oops, anything. Uh, you could jump. You could spot dodge. but You could get. You could just eat the hit. No, you can't eat. Oh, yeah, you can eat the hit. Especially at that percent, 42. But it's like, because it's in Buster, you don't expect it to do that much shield stun. Yeah. But it's 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 a good amount. I mean, I believe Shield Sun correlates with the amount so, of damage. So like, he already has like already used, and then he holds it. So it's already not that strong. So two hits, that's already. Oh wait, actually. I, that one might be. Because true. of the fact that it was close up to the so typically when I see down smash connect, it's never like that close to the blade itself. But yeah. because of how this was spaced, and then. Yeah, no, that one's true. Yeah, that's that was just that's true. Just true. Damn, you gotta hold that. Whoops. Yeah, typically, like, push you back, like, far enough, right? Yeah. But yeah, now we're going to be going into game number four. We're finally going to be seeing Pokemon Stadium 2 out of these two. Uh, and this is looking, you know, they're both uh, playing really patiently, just waiting for this opening. Oh, called the roll. Mm -hmm. I feel like although, like, Vivi's positioning is a little bit tighter, what's really giving Solo the edge here is, you know, his follow-ups are... Definitely not to be contested with at all. Now, once again, has VV at the edge here. I like how he waited and delayed before his recovery option, but he keeps on getting f throw off over and over again. Oh, okay. Caught him. Ooh. And Tide seemed to have turned, Dara. Mm hmm Solar has a lot of momentum going his way. 
Oh, just trying to find some sort of a Fallen Gale here. Uh, oh, goodness. Hatchet Man? More likely than you think, actually. Oh. Throwing Hatchet, though. Here. Now Solox is like really abusing what makes Shulk Shulk. It doesn't matter if he's like whiffing some of these moves because BB is never going to range to be able to actually get closer in on them. But now at those mid-range jump-ins, that's where we see BB uh, effectively punish him. But the question is, can he actually find a kill move here? Can he find anything to get the stock off? Because now Solox sitting with shield arts, he's, uh, he's chilling. Well, he, he's definitely chilling. Up there, ah! Ah, why does he have a kill for you? Because, uh, you know, Psycho. Psycho. You know, you're a, little, you're a bit light. Oh, that jab couldn't be unsafe on hit. That was a bit of an interesting interaction. But yeah, has well, that jab was unsafe on hit because he was in shield. So it's a... Ooh. I, I, th I thought something crazy was about to happen right there. Did he be really patient on his fast fall, not descending a little bit too quickly, just, you know what, scoping out his surroundings, and the side be going to be killing so early. Why? Because uh, Cause he was in the yeah. But you know what? What giveth must taketh away. And uh, Solo is just going to be quickly slapping back with his own uh, up smash, I believe. Up tilt? Oh, yeah, up tilt, yeah. That's right. Yeah, both moves slash up. Mistakeable. Oh, gets the parry, though. He tries to go for like an immediate up B out of shield. A uh, bit of a misplay, you know. Yeah. And now you've seen Vivi doing a lot of dashbacks, but okay, Solar's just covering the roll area. Just trying to catch Vivi being scared. Oh, got another one. Mm -hmm. Tries to go through the jump call up, but that time around, uh, Solos had opted to go through the short up and then immediately fast fell. Takes a second to maybe bait like some sort of a movement option yeah. by pulling out menu. Not going to be able to find it, but I do like the attempt. Oh, caught him. He's, he is swinging so yeah. much. Already going to be quickly expanding that BB. You know, he didn't really get hit by anything. He just waited for all of that to happen in front of him. And now has Solo stuck at the ledge once again. I like the preemptive uh, neutral be though, just in case he was able to scare Solo into shielding. Yeah, and now he has Psycho. So, one hit. Okay. Maybe another Psycho hit will kill. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, he is so bold to go through those in those positions, but luckily not going to be in Smash out, so he's not uh, going to be getting KO'd quite yet. Yeah. And VV has just been like getting like psych up into like heal, like so many times, and like healed up so much. Each heal is like 11% death. Yeah, this should be it at this point, yeah. and FTO is going to be able to do it, and just like that, uh, VV takes a 3-1 over Solent. Wow. Yep. Now I'm curious about something. Which way did he DI? DI in. Did he DI in? Was he accounting for up throw? He still DI in. Did he? I don't see a DI line anyway. No DI. No DI. Maybe maybe this is a little bit too late into the actual throw itself. He starts to throw and then the hitbox actually like comes out, right? So There's the DI line would appear right here. But there is no DI line, so there's no DI. There's actually no DI. Huh. Damn. Yeah, see? No DI line. There's, there's just no DI. Hand was yeah. off the controller. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of let that happen. But, you know, really good stuff to Vivi. I think, you know, overall between the two, his positioning was a little bit more solid. His positioning was a little bit more tight. And he was able to lock down like a lot of situations. He was able to get really up close to solo uh, and abuse the fact that, you know what? He has marginally faster be uh, buttons sometimes. Yeah. And that's crazy for Hero because Hero doesn't have fast buttons. Yeah. Not <laughs> not at all. Yeah. yeah. There's also like a lot of like matchup knowledge stuff. Like Solo is really not looking out at like mid to long range for a lot of these side B's and many pulls. 